Hey, how's it going? Paul Mueller. Today I'm going to show you how to fish the turnover phase. It's probably one of the toughest times of the year to catch fish. Uh, we're on one of my home lakes in Connecticut and it's got a lot of smallmouth in it. And uh, I just want to show you what you need to look for and the technique that works best for me to put fish in the boat. Okay, the lake I'm fishing has a lot of grass in it and most of it is milfoil. Grows pretty deep, grows to about 14 feet. And what, I, what we have here is a flat with a well-defined edge of milfoil. And what I'm looking for within this flat is I'm looking for little areas, maybe points or uh, somewhere where the uh, deep water comes up to it, but it's got to have hard bottom on it right next to the grass. And these fish are kind of getting up in this grass. The bait's there. You, we have uh, uh, yellow perch and we have owlwives in the lake. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a, a crankbait, a DD-22, it looks just like a yellow perch and I'm getting these fish to react. And I'm trying to find these hard bottom areas and make a lot of casts on them and that's where these fish are. And preferably, we have, it's pretty windy today, so I'm looking for the wind to blow in on these areas and I'm going with the wind with the boat. I'll make longer casts and I'll get that bait down in the strike zone longer and keep it down there longer. There's one. Oh, it's a big smallie. Oh man, that is a nice smallie. And I was able to, I beat barely the first time, he kind of swiped at it and I adjusted my retrieve. And I, I really think I wouldn't have felt that fish without this Dobbin six, 765 glass rod. I mean, for a glass rod, I'm really impressed on how sensitive it is. And as you can see, it also gives the fish a little time to load up on the bait. There's that, that's the quality of in, that you have in glass. The best way to catch them is with this crankbait. We've given the wind, we got a high pressure system, we had a big cold front yesterday come in. I mean, it's miserable out right now. I mean, my hands are freezing. I'm excited, but my hands are freezing. It is, it's literally like a high of 40 degrees right now, and we're trying to catch these fish, but it's totally worth it. Turnover occurs when the surface temp starts dropping from the 60s to the mid to low 50s. And right now the water is 58 degrees, so we're right in the middle of this phase. And the fish this time of year are in a transition. They spend the majority of their summer months in 20 to 35 feet of water. But when this process is taking place, some of these fish will suspend and some will move shallow to seek more stable water. Shallow for this lake is like 12 to 15 feet, and I like to target the shallow fish because they're easier to catch. And what I'm looking for is hard bottom adjacent to weeds and I'm getting reaction strikes by making bottom contact with the crankbait. When I'm fishing this bait I like to fish it real fast and erratic with like a stop and go approach. And I'm trying to make that bait con contact with bottom and there's right there I just bounced it off a rock and he hammered it. Oh, nice small. Oh. As soon as I hit that rock, he pounced on it. Another quality fish. And he had both hooks. Made about five casts to the spot, same spot. It's really important that you make the same cast. You, you have a nice rod like this Dobbins glass rod, gives you the sensitivity that you feel when that bait is hitting that rock. As soon as you have that cast narrowed down, you want to keep making that same cast. And eventually, you'll get them the trigger. Take a minute and talk about the equipment I'm using. I'm using a five to one gear ratio reel, really handles these big crankbaits well. I'm using Gamma Edge fluorocarbon line. 8 pound test. I really like the 8 pound line because it gets the bait to go a little bit deeper. I'm fishing around rocky areas so my line tends to get frayed up. If I catch a big smallmouth 
and uh, my line's frayed. I don't have to worry about that fish breaking me off because this line is just extremely durable. I mean, it is just it is the most abrasive resistant fluorocarbon on the market, period. Um, and it casts really well too. Check them out at gammafishing.com. Now the rod I like to use is a Dobbins Champion 765 glass rod and it's different than your typical fiberglass rod and that what they did is they took high-end graphite and they put it in the butt section of the rod which reduces the weight of the rod significantly and it, it creates sensitivity which is key. Now the forward 60% of the rod is solid fiberglass and uh, so this rod still acts and fishes like a fiberglass rod. You have that great parabolic bend that you want in a fiberglass rod. It allows the fish to take the bait uh, a little bit better and uh, it allows you to hook, hook more fish that kind of bite it weird and, and land those fish. Uh, back to the sensitivity. I'm, I'm able to feel soft and hard bottom with this rod better than I could with a traditional fiberglass rod. It's just amazing. And, and those areas that I'm catching these fish on are hard bottom areas. And so when I get in these areas, I'm, I'm uh, going to take a lot more casts and I'm going to try to make that bait deflect and do something different to trigger, trigger strikes. The other thing I like about this rod is because it's so light and it's so well balanced is that you can make really accurate casts. I mean, there's no fatigue. That's not an issue like you would have with a regular uh, fiberglass rod. You, you know, all day throwing these crankbaits, it's, it's, it's a workout. Not with this rod. It's just amazing. It doesn't feel like you have a seven foot six rod in your hand. Just an inc incredible rod. Uh, very accurate cast. And that's key because some of these areas, I have to make multiple casts to get these fish to trigger. And if I don't make the exact cast time and time and time again, I'm not going to catch these fish. So. This rod has definitely improved my crankbait fishing. If you want a rod like this, you go to www.dobbinsrods.com and check out the Champion Glass Series rod. There's one. Oh, it's a big one too. Oh. oh, it's a real big one. Nice one. Barely hooked. Oh. Fish was barely hooked. That's a big smallie. You want to beat the turnover phase? Try deep cranking. Catch fish like these. That's a four and a half. 